Hi, my name's Sean McManus. I am from Telecom TV and I'm here now at MWC to learn more about the Aptiv smart vehicle architecture. Speaking to me is Paul Miller, CTO of Wind River. Paul, thank you for joining me today. Paul, we're seeing many more cars here at MWC this year. Tell us about the convergence between telco and automotive. Some pretty exciting things here at Mobile World Congress 2025 that we're showing here. Obviously, we have an automobile at our booth, and so what are we trying to show? The interesting things that we're seeing is that while the industry has solved major problems like Open RAN, they're still looking for ways to monetize 5G, and so service providers are really challenged with how to do that. Connected vehicles is one way to do it. There are a variety of capabilities, compute offload, over-the-air update, cellular V2X that can enhance the experience and safety for a driver. And the connected vehicle here that I have behind me is actually directly connected to the Barcelona 5G public network. And we're doing over-the-air updates and cellular V2X demos here while at Mobile World Congress to help explain to service providers how they can monetize their network. Brilliant, thank you. Tell us about the potential benefits of a smart connected vehicle. Mm. So we're seeing the architecture within the vehicle become cloudified and cloud native. And this allows software updates to be presented to the vehicle as very small components, as containers. This enables new software applications to be brought into the vehicle that enhance the experience for the average driver. Whether it be comfort and convenience or safety assets that are brought into the vehicle, these really help the experience for the vehicle owner to be improved. Now the Acted Smart Vehicle Architecture separates the hardware from the software. Tell me why that's useful. That's right, our parent company has an incredible solution for the connected vehicle and software-defined vehicle. Wind River, as part of Aptiv, has built our embedded software assets, including a Type 1 mixed criticality hypervisor, guest operating systems from Linux, Android, and our safety certified operating system, VxWorks, into a next-generation software-defined vehicle. This enables the entire car to become containerized, over-the-air update architected, and the ability to support an up-integrated solution that allows fewer compute instances in the vehicle. Many modern cars today have 150 or 200 computers inside of them. This one beside me has five. And it's using multi-core SOCs and advanced virtualization to achieve that. Now tell us about the differentiators that Wind River has that makes it a particularly good fit for a safety critical application like this. Wind River has a history of over 40 years in the business of delivering safety certified mission critical applications, whether it be for aerospace and defense, medical, industrial, safety certified environments. In fact, everybody here at the show flew in on a Boeing or Airbus aircraft, runs Wind River software. And these are safety certified to very stringent levels like DO-178 DAL-A, and in the case of an automotive system, ISO 26262. Safety certification is critical. As Wind River is involved in many of these systems, these are systems where people's lives are at risk. And safety certification is a critical way to protect people's lives in these type of applications. Looking ahead, what kind of experiences do you think a smart connected vehicle could be offering in 5, 10 or 20 years even? Well, certainly the software defined vehicle gives us the ability with over the air updates and the containerized architecture to bring new software applications into the vehicle, much the way you do on a mobile phone. This will increase the experience for the user because they can upgrade their experience within the vehicle through those applications. Additionally, through technologies like cellular V2X, we can improve safety. For example, vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communications can provide warnings for um, safety enhancement as you try to navigate the streets or avoid intersections that have uh, particularly bad histories, right? Uh, in addition, we can provide notifications. Emergency vehicles coming from the left to right can be presented in the infotainment system to warn the driver that they're approaching. So lots of things can be done once you have the vehicle connected to the network. Paul, thank you very much for joining me today.